Hello, and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 9th, 2021, as I try to shift everything around here. Um, so, unsurprisingly, the holiday season, with its associated travel and gatherings, has seen a sharp rise in COVID-19 cases around the world, including in Japan. In response, the government has placed Tokyo and its neighboring prefectures of Saitama, Kanagawa, and Chiba in a state of emergency running from yesterday through February 7th, so just about a month. Um, restaurants and other food service venues have been asked to close by 8 p.m., and non-essential outings also restricted after that time each day. Large gatherings retain the restriction of 5,000 people or half capacity, which has been in place since December, and the government also has movie theaters and amusement parks limit their capacity to 50%. These restrictions have, of course, also affected anime and manga-related events as well. The openings of both the new Space Fellowship Yamato compilation film and the final Evangelion film announced delays this week. The Space Battleship Yamato era The Choice in 2202 film is a compilation of both the Star Blazers Space Battleship Yamato 2199 and Star Blazers Space Battleship Yamato 2202 anime series. It was scheduled to open uh, in Japan January 15th, and its special Blu-ray and digital editions were also going to come out that day, but all three have been delayed to an as-yet unspecified future date. The associated stage greeting and live viewing events have also been cancelled. The Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 Thrice Upon a Time film also suffered a cancellation, though not as drastic as Space Battleship Yamato. The self-proclaimed End of All Things Evangelion, if you believe that, has cancelled all midnight screenings for the film, which isn't too surprising considering the new 8 p.m. curfew. Fifteen theaters across Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, Fukuoka, and Sapporo were planning to hold midnight screenings of the films for its earliest opening day showings on January 23rd. The theaters with IMAX screens were also planning to show the previous film, Evangelion 3.0, You Can Not Redo, just before the midnight showing of the new movie. The cancellation announcement expressed sympathy to those infected with COVID-19 and gratitude and respect to the medical workers and others on the front line of the pandemic. The Thrice Upon a Time film has already suffered one COVID-related delay last year, being pushed from June 27th to its current January 23rd. A number of in-person events and venues have also responded to the new restrictions. Uh, Wonderfest 2021 Winter, the major model kit and figure convention, uh, also known as WANFest, scheduled for February 7th, has been canceled outright. The staff noted around 6,500 dealers alone were planning to attend the event, which already surpasses the 5,000 limit, even without attendees. The Gundam Factory Yokohama has also halted advanced ticket sales for viewing of the life-size Gundam, but will announce later how people can buy tickets on the same day they visit. So you'll still be able to show up for it. Still still no kidding. Sanrio's Pearl <laughs> Land theme park will close through January 31st. Several anime cafes are restricting their hours, and several other in-person events like cast appearances and concerts have been canceled or move online for franchises like Sailor Moon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hypnosis Mike. Here's hoping everyone stays safe and the situation around the world improves very, very soon. Um, not sure what else... Oops. Um, not sure what else there is to say about this, but... Uh, Hoping this resolves itself quickly? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Evangelion and Yamato are not going to be able to touch, <clears throat> touch Mugen Train now, ever. True. Because <laughs> they're going to get, you know, this shortened yeah. slice of the pie, and then they're going to be out of the theaters before they even have a chance to pick up any steam. Well, hopefully right. they, can, they can push that out. You know, they might be able to, you know, continue on. Nothing could stop Mugen Train. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. They might not even try. I, I will straight, say. Go straight to DVD. I will say. <laughs> if anything can can outdo you know, Demon Slayer, it's Evangelion. I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying never count out Evangelion. You don't think like, Space Battleship Yamato can? Oh, come on. There's got to be some loyal, diehard old people that would want to watch this. God. It has a fan base. There's no I questions. I'd be one. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, this is the reason why Evangelion is not going to end, because once COVID goes away, they're, they're going to go, we still have to be moving train. The next time. Right. There we go. Yeah. Well, and, you know, now they can say, well, but see, with everything going on in COVID-19, we weren't able to tell the real story. The story. <laughs> Oh we, my we wanna, goodness! We want to tell you the real story behind the slow clap. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's not, not true. Is I can totally, I can totally see somebody exactly that thing. <laughs> we weren't really able to express creatively mm -hmm. where we thought that Evangelion would really 
natively, holistically go. Right. So now it's going to be 3.0 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 6. <laughs> mm-hmm. That will really allow us to tell the story. Yeah. Part 2. Yeah. It's got to be an OVA next. Right? We've done TV. We've done <laughs> movies. We're going to have an OVA. Um, we'll get, like, the first couple episodes, and they'll be progressively delayed, and they'll just go longer and yeah. longer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then and finally, we'll be, in we'll 2049... Yeah, we'll, like, we'll be discussing this in, like, the, the second half of the 21st century. <laughs> oh, gosh, Evangelion. Um, all right, moving along to happier news. Uh, One Piece has been a mainstay in the manga and anime world since it debuted way back in the 90s. That's right. Oof. And this week brings a huge milestone for the manga that started it all. This week, the manga published its thousandth chapter. Oh, dude. My goodness. To celebrate this incredible accomplishment, One Piece and publisher Shueisha are holding the One Piece 1000 Logs event. <coughs> the main part of the event is the World Top 100, a global character popularity poll, where fans can choose uh, from more than 1,000 characters to pick their favorite. Participants can vote for one character each day until February 28th through the website or mail-in postcards, because Japan. The website describes the contest, saying, quote, Get ready, it's time to vote. Who will you choose from One Piece's treasure trove of characters to be your Ichiban, your number one? The chosen ones will gather together in this very spot, each of them representing unique values and beliefs from fans of fans from around the world. Uh, as countless values and ways of thought converge to create the world top 100, which character will emerge as the one and only Ichiban? To find out, we'll have to band together. Let's show the world we are one, end quote. The site also promises that an exciting conclusion awaits for the characters who make the world top 100, so the fans will have to fight hard for their favorites. In addition to the voting, the World Top 100 website also has a World Hot Characters page. Oh, boy. <laughs> which shows the top three characters for each day by world region, so hot in terms of popularity. Um, okay. Those who vote are also <laughs> eligible to win prizes, including special AR 3D models of the characters based on the World Collectible Figure Arcade prize line. Along the character poll, the Thousand Logs project includes several other cel- uh, celebratory events. Shreisha published a full color, uh, full page color ad in the New York Times this week. What? That's what you see on the left, and the website includes uh, sections for lots of other content that will come in the future, including a live action teaser looking back at the series' history collabs with other magazines and artists, new trailers, and more. The cover art of the next two issues of Shonen Jump feature various One Piece characters drawn by other manga artists and will combine to create a special double-sized image. That's cool. The poster inserts from the two issues will also combine to create one big double-sided poster, forming the biggest poster insert in the history of Shonen Jump. Creator Eichiro Oda announced, uh, or acknowledged the accomplishment himself, of course, publishing a letter containing his thanks and reflections. He ends the letter by saying, and I quote, I have a favor to ask. This is for everyone with whom, by some means or another, I managed to create a bond, or in other words, the One Piece fans of the world. My story is a long one, but for just a while longer, please watch over Luffy and his crew as they continue their adventure. End quote. One Piece, One Piece began serialization in 1997. Anime began in 1999, inspiring 14 feature films, 13 specials, and one OVA, plus video games and innumerable other media and merchandise. Oh, boy. There's no Mugen train, but there is a One Piece train. It's a boat. It's a boat, yeah. (laughs) There's a One Piece boat. That was uh, that was what I was thinking is going to be the your your top one hundred character. Something special will happen to them. The boat mm, goes down. down. No, no. <laughs> yeah. But if you vote again and send us twenty five dollars, <laughs> then the boat won't. Sa- okay, sorry. wait a minute. Hold on here. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, so we'll, we'll use we we'll use Steve's uh, claimed uh, riches. It's one yep. top one hundred characters, Pachinko. Yeah, Pachinko. we are. That's right. Mm-hmm. Make, make a particular machine out of that. You're good to go. Uh, yeah, I'm... I, I, and I mean, you're right, Captain Laser Eyes. You know, full props to Oda for continuing this 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 thing. Like, there's a man with some work ethic. You know, he's kept this going, kept it ch- yeah. chugging along. You know, he hasn't pulled a bleach. You know, <laughs> um, you know people yeah. still love, love One Piece. Absolutely. Good on him. You can't get enough of Monkey D. Luffy. Absolutely. Um, Straw hat crew. (laughs) Speaking of Shonen Jump, um, anime fans are no strangers to waiting between seasons or movies of their favorite series, but it's not every day 
A new entry gets announced 25 years after the last one. <laughs> A new film is in the works based on the classic basketball manga series Slam Dunk. Manga creator Takahiko Inoue posted the news himself on Twitter, and an official website for the film followed on, revealing the animation would be done by Toei. The manga has published Miki Shonen Jump from 90 to 96 with a total of 31 volumes. It has sold over 121 million copies in Japan alone, making it one of the best selling manga series in history. Wow. Inoue even received special commendations from the Japan Basketball Association in 2010 for helping to popularize basketball in Japan. The manga inspired a TV anime which ran from 93 to 96 and sparked four previous anime films which came out in 94 and 95. As we said, a long, long wait in between the last films and this one. Uh, it follows the link with Hanamichi Sak Sakura... Sorry. Hanamichi Sakuragi, there we go, who has terrible luck with girls. <laughs> After enrolling in high school, he becomes interested in a girl who loves the game of basketball, so he joins the team to get closer to her. And since it's a sports anime, it turns out he's a natural athlete and learns to love the game even beyond his crush. Uh, big shock there. Hmm. I can't think of, you know, I can't think of any other franchise to get a revitalization that, well, I guess Hunter x Hunter got a, a new new TV series. Um, I guess it has happened, but man. 25 years later, though? Yeah, yeah I mean, right? about that. Um, mm, 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 mm. Well, I wonder why now. Wasn't there Astro Boy that did did a few years ago? That was the update of Astro Boy. Well, there have been a few updates of Astro Boy. That's true. I mean, yeah, there been a couple that, of yeah. So oh, that's some of those franchises do. You can still you know. Mm -hmm. what is it? But I was, a dead horse, as Captain yeah. Razor, I said. <laughs> but it's interesting that you know it, it definitely feels like Slam Dunk's anime time was the nineties. You know. Yeah. You got everything. Yeah. And then you know nothing, and then suddenly, it's interesting. Why now? I don't oh, know. Uh, I, maybe they've hit the Hollywood wall, where you, there's just no more creative they're, they're, they're ideas, ideas to do anything with. So they're just going back, like throw it all the way back. Let's let's do Size San as a as a dramatic uh, uh, soap opera. There we go. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> no. I mean, certainly, you know, sports anime have have re retained popularity, um, and I. I certainly still hear about Slam Dunk and like the Jujutsu Ju circles and things like that. You know, folks are still right. talking about it as a as a franchise. I don't know. Well, just it's interesting. It's Slam Dunk because yeah. if, you know if I always you know bring up Ashita no Joe. Mm -hmm. Right. Isn't Megalobox kind of a yeah. sort of an update of Ashita like no Joe? Kind of. Yeah. So you know, I mean, I, I'm surprised it's Slam Dunk itself. Yeah, it's true. And not just saying, well, you know what? Let's take all the, you know, the the architecture of Slam Dunk. Mm -hmm. And people really responded to that. And we're just going to do, you know, Dunk It, man. And it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be the same kind of thing, but yeah. it's just a different title and it's going to be updated for the new new audience. Or a remake, you know, or a reboot, you know, kind right. of like with right. like, like Hunter Hunter did as things right. like, hey, we're going to kind of refresh it a little bit. Yeah. Right. You're right. It's like so Interesting they chose this. Yeah. Um, mm. Also interesting that they, it, the Japanese Basketball Association gave them an award for making. I always thought basketball, if you watch any anime from quite a long way back, it mm. always seems that kids are in a gym playing basketball at some Yeah. Point. Yeah. So was that just like an oddity? What did they do if they weren't playing basketball? <laughs> <laughs> was there a like volleyball? Uh, obviously, volleyball. Yeah. That was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it certainly you know basketball has been a thing in you know, in Japan for for a while um, since before Slam Dunk, but it can be one of those things where Slam Dunk was just getting pushed over the edge, you know, where it was a sport and then it became a big sport after that. It got yeah. like prefectural championships. I wonder mm -hmm. if they, I wonder if it was somewhere in that kind of thing. It's like there is field sports that you run around outside, but you don't do anything with it you just do your gym thing and you leave and maybe i wonder if slam dunk was that moment where you started seeing the teams actually starting to actually be serious and yeah. compete and then to have regionals and nationals right. mm -hmm. maybe so yeah, yeah so. Maybe. It's interesting. also this week news stories that we may talk about, we may not, uh, but worth mentioning. Kodansha announced this week a TV anime in the works based on the Orient manga, a battle fantasy story from Shinobu Otaka, creator of Magi. Uh, no release date yet, but Kodansha is streaming a teaser video for the new series. 
Uh, it's about uh, best friends Musashi and Kojiro, who dreamed his children of becoming the strongest warriors and fighting the demons who prey on inno innocence. But one of them turns cynical, and the other realizes he can't turn back 150 years of demon rule on his own. Um, they're almost ready to settle, but uh, you know, guess what? Uh, <laughs> Otaka launched the manga in Weekly Shonen Magazine back in May of 2018. Uh, I'm sorry, May of 2018. Teasing Master Takagi-san creator Shitoichiro Yamamoto's most recent manga is also inspiring a new TV anime. Even so, Ayumu Approaches commemorates Weekly Shonen Magazine's 60th anniversary. It's a romantic comedy centering on shogi, a Japanese variant of chess. Another shogi. Um, this started back in 2019 and already has five compiled volumes. The anime is set to air sometime in 2022, however, so we have a, a, a ways to wait. Also airing that year will be the new Kankole anime project. Um, this is confirmed at the end of the first anime series way back in 2015. Yeah, they did get a sequel. Uh, Kanakawa confirmed it again in 2019, and the New Year's greeting from production company C2 Kikan just confirmed that they, uh, um, anime studio Engi, and Kanakawa are suddenly making headway on the project. It's based on the web browser game that launched in 2013, following the Kanamusu or Fleet Girls. A new original TV anime was also announced this week, set to launch already in April. Titled Fairy Ranmaru, I Will Help Your Heart, the new official website shared a teaser image of what appears to be four high school boys and a bartender plus two animal creatures. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, a production unveiling event will take place on January 18th to reveal cast, director, and story. An anime film has officially been greenlit for boy band Argonavis from Bushiro's Bang, Bang Dream franchise. The boys are also getting a stage play to run in the summer, and their smartphone, smartphone rhythm adventure game will debut on January 14th. The group was announced back in 2018 with their Agonavis from Bang Dream TV anime series premiered in April of 2020, and I'm sure they want to Bang Dream you. Fans of the oh, ID Invaded oh, anime oh, series... You went there. You went nice. there. Nice. <laughs> Fans of the ID Invaded <laughs> anime that. series might have something new to look forward to soon. The TV anime's official Twitter account posted a video this week that shows the names of many of the story's characters and ends with the text, They Will Return! And it looks like a super deformed silhouette of main character Sakaido. The capture of the tweet itself is coming soon. Kodansha officially announced this week that the long journey of Attack on Titan will come to an end in April. The final chapter of Hajime Isayama's wildly popular story will appear in the April 9th issue of Visatsu Shonen Magazine after 11 and a half years of serialization, and the 34th and final compiled volume will ship in June. Kanacha also teased that many projects are being prepared to celebrate the manga's conclusion. Uh, it launched in 2009, has more than 100 million um, volumes in circulation worldwide. The TV anime um, uh, aired back in 2013. G Kids revealed on Thursday it's working with both Fathom Events and independent theater circles to screen Studio Ghibli's first CG feature, Earwig and the Witch, in Ooh, select US theaters on February 3rd. So keep an eye out for that. About a month, we'll, we'll, get, we'll be getting that. The film will scream both in Japanese with subtitles and in English. And for everyone not able to catch it in theaters, it will stream on HBO Max starting on February 5th. February 3rd is a Wednesday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Um, Thursday marked the 10th anniversary of the subversive mental girl anime Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Mm -hmm. The series' official Twitter account announced an upcoming 10th anniversary project and a website open featuring a special logo and art of Madoka from character designer Umi Aoki. The website will feature celebratory images from various illustrators and manga creators and also teaches future updates. So fans will have to keep an eye out for those. As well as the original uh, 2011 anime series, we had three anime films, a smartphone game, and a recent anime series based on that smartphone game. Finally, the Mugen train just cannot be stopped. After dominating the all-time charts in Japan, the Demon Slayer film is now making its way up the worldwide charts becoming the second highest earning anime film and Japanese film of all time worldwide, surpassing your name. And the real kicker, Damn. the film has not yet opened in China. Oh my god. Or North America, or many other territories worldwide. This so the thing train is oh my god. isn't anywhere near its <laughs> final earning that. destination. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. China. Oh, I... Jesus. <laughs> wow. Oh. Good well, it's neat Lord. to be here at the at the front seat uh, area of watching a, a a global pandemic of the film version. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, God, that's just amazing. What's good? It's oh, wow, wow, China and and 
the rest of the world yeah. has the chance. <laughs> wow. And in fairness, Japan has had relatively lax um, COVID restrictions in theaters and such. So other countries are not going to be able to have necessarily quite the same sort of... Um, but uh, you know, China! The, the, but China! But China! I mean... I was going to say, if, holy half, crap. if 50% of China goes to see it, that's still <laughs> 500 million people! Like... <laughs> and you know they're going to see it yeah. because we're going to see it exactly yeah. that's the thing oh my god you know it's a phenomenon it's just oh. going to roll here's my question oh, yeah. um when Should will it leave theaters worldwide no you know what you know what you know what's going to happen it's going to go yeah. rocky horror picture show there's going to be midnight showings everywhere mm -hmm. everywhere yeah yeah I'm being serious. I, you know, it's going to end up right. as as a prime release and then a cult classic. And mm -hmm. you know, it's going to journey its way around that way. The dollar theaters of old. The dollar theaters <laughs> next to next to the university campuses. Mm -hmm. is yeah, what it's gonna yeah. Be. You know? I think you're right. This, uh, you know, I wonder <sighs> if it's going to be if this is going to do a Genshin thing for uh, university anime clubs. Where it's like suddenly people are going to see Mugen Train and be like, Do, what, does our university have an anime club? And then, yeah. then they're going to sort of start wandering in and be like, hi, do you guys do that thing like the train show I saw? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, we do. Come on and sit down. Yeah. Because, you know, the sad thing is I can see this, like, I'm, I'm going to be, Lord willing, 89 years old. <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Just, on my walker on my walker picking up or turning on the, the laptop and going Morgan train number 48 <laughs> <laughs> bastard that's the thing that's the other thing is that you know Demon Slayer is over eight. yeah like yeah. the manga's done like I, I I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with this franchise it ain't oh, over. Somebody right now is just like, please, come out, come to yeah. open up the, the manga no, again. No, no, no. Just do something. Hurry. <laughs> I'm willing to bet they kidnapped the entire production crew. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone committed to the series and the manga. I just said, um, yeah. Reboot, yeah. You were too, you were too <laughs> successful. <laughs> yeah. So we have to hold you now forever. Yep. Yep. Make us more money. So yeah. one, one of two things. Um, Demon Slayer reboot. I completely agree, JBiz. Yeah. Or uh, in, a few, uh, in a few years, we will get um, Demon Slayer 1.0. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you cannot go alone. Yes. Oh. Oh. The, you know, <laughs> Demon Slayer Death and Rebirth, the end of Demon Slayer. You know, and we just we just follow that whole we just, pattern. We just keep doing that. Um, yeah, uh, and I actually, company, I think I think you're absolutely right. We'll, we'll have a sequel series. You know, we'll have a a new storyline in the same universe. Yeah. New characters. They'll just they'll they'll. It, um, uh, we're talking about um, the Inuyasha thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That that totally makes sense. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, I like to yeah. I like to see the tenth anniversary announcement of uh, Madoka Magica. That that was that yeah. was good. Cool. I'm glad they gave us a heads up on that. <laughs> I've been waiting patiently for that. <laughs> oh my! Um, um, I do want to see though earwig and the and yeah the witch. Mm -hmm. yeah i do want to see that um it's that's going to be really tough given its release schedule so i'm going to end up having to find a way into hbo for that one yeah i mean i'm, I'm sure it will, it'll air on more than just a wednesday it'll, it'll probably be you know for a couple of weeks it'll, it'll yeah. be in theaters yeah and and brent i know you watched some of id invaded did you watch mm -hmm. the entirety of it nope what was your impression of it um Fascinating. Honestly, it was a little too intense for me at the time. I just didn't want something that was that serious and that, you know, um, dark. Because you had said it was like Inception, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Guys basically diving into people's subconscious um, and trying to figure out what happens in the real world by... Um, deciphering what he's seeing in the, in their subconscious. So he's not like seeing memories. He's seeing like uh, episode one. It's like all of these 
deconstructed houses everywhere. Um, and they all eventually fit into this, like, pattern. But then he's seeing, like, different people. Um, uh, and they're, like, parts of people. Right. And he's trying to understand what that means. And, like, why is that there? And why is that person over there? Why is this person in this house? Because it's, it's all symbolic. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like that's deeply intense kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, like, they're going after, like, serial killers. So it's, it's, it's not light. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, so I, I, was, I was very impressed with it, and it, it is very carefully and well done. Uh, what I saw of it. It was just, again, one of those things that not the right tone for me right now. It sounds a little intense for, like, an afternoon watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, Hey, exactly. it's lunchtime. Let me do something that's going to cause me to sit here all day and think about what I just watched. <laughs> and also, um, I, started, I started watching it when it was coming out, and I was like, I do not want to be waiting. You know, I don't want to have something, like, really terrible happening at the end of an episode and have to wait seven days. Like, I'm... Oh, uh, yeah. In fact, that kind of happens at the end of episode two. There's a... There's a dark twist. You're like, oh, no. You know, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, cool. Thank you, Jim. Um, um, yeah, Dungeon Only I Can Enter. Um, I might check that one out. Um, it, it does It does sound cute. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Oh, Jay got Flowers of evil Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ebet. Ebet. You know, fairness, you know, as we know, Phil, Phil has taught us, Phil loves that. Loves yeah, that. absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's like, there, it is, uh, it is a, um, it fits a lot of people in the right way and mm -hmm. hits them just exactly like they want. Yep. And then other people, it is like a Super Bowl and you are bounced the hell off of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And want nowhere to go with it. Yep. I, I was one of the Super Bowls. Yep. Me too. <laughs> like I, I understand where it's going. I I respect its approach. Yeah. Like I, I I get it, but just not not for me. Yeah. Flowers of evil. Flowers yeah. of evil. Um, an all rotoscope anime. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Really interesting. And like intentionally, yeah. intentionally like off puttingly rotoscoped. Yeah. And uh. the intro and exit songs are like this. Uh, just it, it's auditory hell. I mean, it's really. <laughs> It, Very it's dissonant. Just, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. just a weird musical yeah. scape. And I totally, and that's, you know, same thing. I totally respect everything mm -hmm. that they did to mm -hmm. achieve what they were aiming at. Mm -hmm. And brilliant. Mm -hmm. I can't handle that kind of brilliance. Yeah. <laughs> Folks in the chat are pointing out the manga might be worth checking out. And I, I hear that. I, I might actually go for the manga because it, it sounds like the anime kind of pushes the manga further. <laughs> You know, yeah. You know, she's like, ah, but the, the manga might be more, you know, one speed. And especially because you can kind of, you know, you can pace it however you want to. Yeah, I was going to say, the manga's not moving like the mm -hmm. way they do in that <laughs> show. <laughs> Where it's just like, oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That's interesting, Spin. That you, you know, the manga and anime are kind of very different experiences. You know, very different impression of what's happening. Interesting, or what it is. Curious. Um, yeah, and I'm all for weird anime, right? I'm all for that. Um, the, night, the night is long. Walk on, girl. Yeah. Summer, Summer Wars, Paprika. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Love Paprika. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about Paprika soon. Mm 